Hey, what up, bots? It's D Bear here from Funbot 9000. And I don't know if you can hear it, but there are a few sounds going on in the background because I am in the outside world. So, we got a new intro. How do you like that? We'll put a card so you can vote. Onto the video! I'm going to be trying out some new paints. We have this one. It's supposed to leave a stained glass effect. We also have a black outliner for it, and I'm hoping it'll turn out okay. Okay, so when I first did this outline, I thought it would leave more of a three-dimensional, uh, lumpy, textural effect, but it did not. It uh, still gave it a very nice look, very shiny. Um, I had to go over some of the spots a couple of times because it wouldn't come out or I squeezed it a bit too hard and But overall, I think it made it really pop and it looks really nice Paint is supposed to take a couple of hours to dry. So two hours to air dry ten hours to completely dry So we're just going to be doing the stained glass looking paint colors right now And then we'll be adding the other colors later. So first when I was first testing out these colors I didn't film it, but I did use the um apple green color. It's supposed to leave a stained glass glossy finish on it, so hopefully they turn out. The next color I've used is sky blue, so it's supposed to be a bit of a lighter blue, so I'm hoping it turns out that way. When I first started painting this one, I accidentally used the same green brush and it turned out a weird tealy color, so then I just went over it as you can see here in a lighter blue. The blue was very wet, not very sticky, unlike the green, which I did before it. Okay, so the first thing I noticed about the um, blue color was that it seemed a lot more wet than the green color did, but I also forgot to mix it at the beginning, so I think it turned out pretty good. It was a nice light color. I was hoping it wasn't too dark, but I did choose one of the lighter blues. Next, we are going to be starting to color in the Pikachu using this yellow, lemon yellow. We're also going to be using this just red, because Pikachu's cheeks are red. So the first thing with the yellow is that I used the same brush that I did for the blue for the Squirtle. It was fairly easy to use. The yellow wasn't too sticky, wasn't too wet or anything. It left a nice yellowy color. And then with the red, I used a smaller brush, a thinner brush, and I noticed that you have to go over it a couple of times to get a nicer red. Otherwise, it turned out a kind of pinky. I was going to end up using most of the red for the Charmander. But it's not orange, and Charmander is orange, so I was going to use the yellow color on his belly and use this more on his tail. With the Charmander, I was the most scared of this one because I had a red and not an orange, so I decided that I was just going to do his tail red, and then I remembered, oh hey, I have a yellow color, I'll use that. Okay, so now that I've finished painting, I'm going, we're going to be waiting a couple of hours for it to air dry a bit more, like two to four hours or so, and then we're going to come back and do the acrylic painting, you know, where it's not colored yet, and I've taken it from the ground so it doesn't get, you know, more covered in pine needles or uh, get stepped on by, like, the dog or anyone, so it's just sitting on a table right now, and we'll be back in a couple of hours. Okay, so it has been a couple of hours, and it looks pretty so It's a bit cloudy right now, not as sunny as it was, so it looks a bit, this color looks a bit darker. But if you look here, some of the parts, some of the maybe like thicker parts, uh, seem to have more of that glossy, stained glass finished look to it. Um, it all kind of does, but like some parts more than others, you may not be able to tell so much in the video. But now we're going to get started with the acrylic paints. So as you can now see, we are painting the acrylic. I am hoping that the acrylic will complement the other paint, you know, because it has a different texture compared to the mosaic-y, glossy stained glass feeling of the paint I used before. I'm hoping that the colors will turn out pretty close to what the actual Pokemon looked like.
Okay, so we're basically done now. So I am going to wait for the acrylic paints to dry, and then I will come back, do some touch-ups, you know, and we'll see what the how the final product looks, you know. You know, maybe go over the background, you know, the Pokemon, whatever. Um, can't wait to see the final product. Bye! Now the painting has finished drying, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, but you know, that's every drawing, every painting, everything, right? So here we are. Looks pretty good. The red, for some reason, didn't want to um, go on. So if you look here, there's like, it looks like it's two different shades of red, even though it's like the same color. When I was touching it up and everything, I made the background darker to make the Pokemon pop out more. So I think I'm just going to hang it up in my room somewhere, you know? At least I actually finished this one unlike other ones. But overall, I think the glossy kind of paint that I was using, it was like a liquid, but it, I think it worked out really well. I don't know if you can tell, but it's all like shiny, you know, compared to the acrylics and watercolor on it. No, but I, I, I like the way it turned out. I think it looks pretty good. It's my first time drawing um, Charmander and Squirtle and Pikachu. Actually, maybe not, okay. I know for sure it's my first time drawing Charmander, can't really remember about the other ones, but I think it's turned out pretty good for like a first attempt. Maybe in a few years I'll like redraw it and maybe it'll turn out better. So if you want to see maybe some more of my art, some of my drawings, some of my painting, I'm not a professional painter or artist, but I do have an Instagram that you can go follow me at dbcuteart. I guess I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye!